What's up guys, I'm here back with a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a checkpoint that data saves. So when a player touches the checkpoint, then if he leaves the game and joins back, then he will be at that checkpoint. So let's just search for our checkpoint in the toolbox. So here we have checkpoint for Obby. And now we have our script here. You can make it invisible if you want or just leave it like that. Uh, okay. So now we need to make a brand new folder in our workspace. So name the folder stages. Now rename the checkpoint to one. So just put it like the number one. So let's do that not 21 one okay now put that in the stages folder now we can duplicate that put it to two now duplicate it again now make it to three okay so here we have three uh, checkpoints so now let's get to our service script service we'll make two scripts in the first script we will put it save so let's just put it check point save okay and the other one uh, move stages uh, let's go to our checkpoint save and i'll leave the code in the description so you can copy paste it and now let's go to our move uh, stages copy paste it from the description and here we have it okay so now let's go to our game settings you would need to go to security and enable studio access to api services so enable studio uh, access to game services such as data stores so we need that to work so our checkpoints work okay now let's test it so here i'm on the stage one now stage two so let's stop play here we have stage two and now let's go to stage three now stop and play and we are at the stage three so as you can see guys it works so yeah if if you subscribe that would mean a lot to me because i'm on a road to 1k subscribers and yeah thanks for watching have a good day and goodbye